This is the fourth part of my Wind Turbine series. If you didn't watch the other parts, you can check the playlist by clicking on the card on the top right corner of this video. Also make sure to check the community tab and also my Facebook page as I will start to push more often. In this part I build a frame and a tail. As I said at the beginning of this project, this is in no way a tutorial to build your own wind turbine. I'm learning myself as I progress and this was for me the most challenging part until now. It was the first time I ever welded something and I am sure a lot of you watching are able to do a better job at it, but I'm pretty confident that the welds, although ugly, are not going to break. I also would like to say that I just used materials that I had laying around and therefore I had to reinforce some of them. Be aware that fumes released by welding galvanized steel can lead to galvanized poisoning with symptoms similar to flu. I started by cutting about 25 cm of 10 by 5 cm rectangular pipe. Because this had very thin walls, I ended up reinforcing it. More to that later. I then cut a 30 cm long piece of 60 mm diameter pipe. This is the part that will later fit over smaller diameter pipe, mounted to the tower and will allow the wind turbine to rotate to the direction of the wind. I notched the square pipe so I could weld it to the yaw pipe making sure they were square to each other. Because the rectangular pipe had very thin walls, I decided to strengthen it by welding angle stock to the corners. I capped the opening also with a piece of angle stock that I cut in half and welded together. I cut four pieces of angle stock to support the stator and welded them in their corresponding position. The sizes of these will depend on the size of your particular stator. The shaft has to be 5 inches from the center of the yaw pipe. I then drilled all the holes to hold the stator, the flange bearings and also the hole to fit through the 25mm stainless shaft. I cut a triangle piece of 8mm thick steel and welded the rod to it. I used an 18mm steel rod that I had laying around, but some bigger diameter rod would be better for this. This will be the tail axle. It should be angled 20 degrees vertically from the yaw pipe and should be welded 35 degrees horizontally from the center of the yaw pipe. I made a tail with a piece of 1.5mm flat steel, you can play with the format of this tail, it does not need to be triangular. I used 20cm of 26mm diameter pipe for the tail bearing, and 110cm and 70cm of 21mm diameter pipe for the other two pieces. Do not make the same mistake as I did. I welded the tail to be square with the rotation pivot, and only then realized that it should be welded at a 20 degree angle as the axle is angled and the tail should be level when in resting position. This is called a furling tail, as it folds up in high winds forcing the wind turbine to yaw so that the blades are parallel to the wind direction in order to avoid overspeeds and damage. I probably will have to adjust the weight of it, but this can only be done after testing. I made a slot on the pipe to weld a flat piece of steel, but honestly I would not do it like this in another wind turbine. Besides more time consuming, it also does not allow for adjustments, so I recommend you to just screw them together. I will possibly reinforce the steel sheet at the end so that it doesn't bend. The tail, when in resting position, should be at an angle of 20 degrees from the rectangular pipe, and therefore you have to cut a notch in the pipe that will act as a stop by adding the triangular piece. I used a piece of pipe to act as a stronger end stop for when the tail is furling, because if it fails to stop, the tail can hit the blades and that would certainly destroy them. I did the same for the resting position, 
but I'm not satisfied with the results and look of it, so I recommend you to do this differently. It is also not a good idea to stop the tail by hitting the stator mount, because if it bends, it will possibly damage the stator. I found that the small remaining section of the pipe was twisting when hitting the resting stop, so I welded a piece of steel to try to reinforce it. To avoid having to do something like this, I recommend using a thicker rod for the axle and bigger schedule and diameter pipe for the tail. I used a piece of steel to cap off the top of the yaw pipe and drilled holes to fit the slip ring with a conical drill. In case you don't know, a slip ring is a device that allows limitless rotation without twisting the wires. There are some tools that I found very useful. This scriber, for example, replaces a permanent marker and you don't have to worry about running out of ink or the ink fading. This automatic punch tool is also great to create a small indent on the metal so that the drill bits don't slip. Generally, there is no need for bearings for the yaw pipe and simple grease does the job, but I found these needle bearings that I would like to try out. Unfortunately, the seam on the pipe gets in the way, so I took my Dremel tool with a flexible shaft and tried to get rid of it with moderate success. I still have to grind it a bit more, if there is a better tool for this job, I would like your recommendation. I will also use a thrust bearing on the bottom of the yaw pipe and maybe another one at the top. Since I had the Dremel tool set up, I decided to wirebrush my ugly wells. They still remain ugly, but at least they are shiny. This frame will be painted later on. I mounted the frame, tail, stator and one of the rotors just to see how it would look, and so far I'm pretty satisfied with the results. The shaft is angled 5 degrees up, because I read that the wind comes down at this angle but I can easily mount it straight if it doesn't turn out to be beneficial. I even saw it rotating towards the wind, which I thought was funny because there was just a light breeze and I didn't even have the needle bearings installed, nor did I have any grease. Talking about grease, I will add some grease fittings where needed, so I can easily lubricate those parts. I apologize for all the delay finishing this project, but I keep getting distracted with other electronics projects. Talking about other non-wind turbine related projects, I would like to know your opinion about me uploading them to the channel. All of them are electronics related. I set up a poll that should show up in the top right corner. Please click on it and vote for the answer that best suits your opinion. The next part of this project will be the making of the blades. These won't be made out of wood because I don't have the required skills, but I believe I have found a good process that will result in strong and good looking blades. If you want to help the channel, you can do so by buying from the links provided in the description. It doesn't cost you anything more, but I get a small commission. Have fun!